But hey, what's going on, people? Your boy, Matt Mike, coming at you guys with a... Um, this is just a breakdown for DMPs, the types of pressure packages, the pressure packages you're going to see and what it's going to take to be in the Atlanta Falcon um, defender and the types of players that he wants. Um, this, the first play here is just all about great coverage. I think this is one of the best. Um, I, I think this is just great coverage. This is great design. Um, and what Dan P's, Dean P's loves to do, um, with his defenses is just put a lot of pressure on the center and the guards and kind of give these guys, um, to make them think. It's all about making them think and, um, really just understanding that if you don't create some type of havoc up front, um, you're going to have a long play. So let's just see. Um, we're going to get to the play and see it in full motion and then kind of break it down after that. And that's just a great coverage. All right. This, 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 this is just great coverage. Okay. First, um, you see them in three wide receiver set. You got the tight end on the end. And um, what, like I said, what he likes to do is to create that doubt. Is this guy going to come? What is he going to do? And again, he likes to run a lot of stunts um, with the tackles, the D tackles, and kind of uses linebackers in situations where you as a guard are trying to figure out should I double team this guy should I double team that guy leave him one on one and you have a defensive end out here on the end of the other line um, but what it is it really is for Dean Pease he wants to create that mismatch he wants to get those one on ones um, on those guards and this is kind of what he does man it creates um, that creates that doubt, and but this is just great coverage by these guys. Right, you're gonna see here, this guy's covered, that guy's covered, that guy's covered, that guy's covered, and you have the safety just sitting back. All right, safety just sitting back. You have a potential guy here in the running back that may be open for the most part, but it, like even that is, you know, even that is questionable. So you're gonna do it see it again man you got three guys surrounding one two three guys excellent coverage no one is open no one is open this guy isn't open you may have a guy depending on if you had the time you don't have the time so this guy um if he's able to kind of get out of the pocket and have this guy maybe you know sit in a zone or go you know, towards the sideline a bit, you can make something happen. But being that the the Ravens got excellent pressure up front, you have absolutely nowhere to go. Again, it's maybe you get this guy um, for you know maybe a three yard game um, from maybe a two yard game, three yard game for your line um, for your running back. Um, but outside of that, man, it's like these guys did an excellent job up front. Let's see it from another angle. Um, it just, just creates excellent pressure, all right? This is just, this is the real thugs here, man. Um, like I said, these guys just do a great job of creating that one-on-one -on -one and creating that doubt. Like, this is what I'm talking about, about creating that doubt uh, with the guards, man. The guards have no idea. You don't know if this guy is going to come. What they're trying to do is create that one-on-one -on -one here, they're trying to create that doubt here. So these guys, they want to get immediate pressure on the quarterback, all right? And this is what he does best. This is just what he does best, man. Just excellent, excellent play by Dean Pease, just drawing it up. And it sucks get after the quarterback, they get the sack. So let's go to the next play. What's going on, people? Um, the next play here is the next play here is um, this is just excellent play by the Ravens. Um, the ends, um, they do a good job again, they put so much pressure on the. the the center and the guards, man, it just creates one on ones on, on the outside with the um, with the outside linebackers, whether it's a three four or four three um, outside linebackers slash defensive ends, 
And again, man, this is what DMPs does. He creates havoc up front, kind of get these guys, um, the office alignment, the quarterbacks. Um, you have to be on point with your calls. You have to be on point uh, as far as um, your your cues, your hot routes, it's, uh, it's, it's especially the receivers. The receivers always have to be open. The receivers always have to be aware because these guys send pressure for all over the place. So if you're not aware of your keys, your hot routes as a receiver, man, this team will kill you, all right? This team will definitely kill you. And like I said, Dean Pease is one of the best guys in creating havoc up front, creating that doubt up front. Who's going to come from any given route at any given time? So we're going to see it. Um, we're going to uh, see it in fast motion, of course, and we're going to break it down from there. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, just so much movement up front. You just don't know what to do. Just so much. Front. Just so much movement up front, man. I Like, this is just beautiful. All right. Again, man, we're going to see it. You see how he creates so much pressure in the middle of the field. All right, bam, here we go. One thing is that they're so concerned about Terrell Suggs, and then you got uh, Terrell Suggs and Judah and these guys up front. But what I like most is what I think is going to be um, great for not only Grady Jarrett and guys like Marlon Davidson, man, these guys, you're going to have a defensive tackle that's going to eat up space. They're going to be forced to eat up space and keep the eye on the defensive tackles that they're going to create those one-on-one -on -one opportunities for these defensive ends to get upfield. And that's what you want out of your defensive ends to kind of get upfield. And not only that, man, you got two, like the, the safeties here, all it is is to take away everything deep, man. Take away everything deep. You get great coverage. Um, maybe you got a guy there if he's able to get the ball. Again, creating so much pressure up front. You have a guy open, potentially open here. But being that you got pressure, you can't get it. You can't get that ball out. You can't get it out. So th th this is what pressure does. Even if you get beat as a corner, you continuously get pressure from your defensive line man this is what's going to happen you're going to make these you're going to have the opportunities to get after the quarterback and and get sacks this is what the sacks kills man so gonna go to the next play man and um gonna show you one more play about uh this this is going to be a play all on um creating pressure so let's go to the next play Again, this is one of those plays where, again, man, you see the the Pittsburgh Steelers in three wide. You have a tight end in the slot. You have the tight end here. You got a running back out here, man. And like like I said, this is what I love most about Dean Pease. Like even in when these guys are in shotgun and three rides, four wide, this guy does not um, sit back and just allow these quarterbacks to just – you know, to throw the ball. He gets after him. Um, he, his teams, look, they're not afraid of down and distance. That's one thing I, I love about Dean Pease. He's not afraid of down and distance. So let's just um, see this play break down, and we'll go over it just a little bit afterwards. All right, so here we go. This is... Again, this is the pressure up front. Great coverage. All right, just great coverage out the secondary for the Baltimore Ravens, man. And when you have guys like A.J. Terrell, um, you have guys like Isaiah Oliver who is still developing as a player, man. Um, I, I truly believe that the Falcons have the ability to not only create pressure up front, but these guys have the ability to to, to create, you know, to, to get stops um, with their coverage. And, um, especially with a guy like AJ Terrell, you put him in the defense with a guy like um, Dean Pease, man. He's going to be more aggressive. He's going to be more physical. And we already know with a guy like Dean Pease, if you're physical, you have the speed, you have the athleticism, you have the ability to not do, uh, not just do one thing. He's going to put you in a position where you are going to succeed. So again, man, this is just great pressure, great pressure up front. They attacked it. They attacked the 
the edges. All right, they attack the edges, and again, man, this guy is not open. These guy not open. He's not open. He's not open. Just great freaking coverage. All right, just great freaking coverage. Just amazing coverage, and like he has nowhere to go, nowhere to go at all. And like I said, this is we're gonna see it from another angle. It just uh, you see all the action up front. They don't know what's going to go on. So all they're doing, you see so much havoc. Trying to figure out where these guys are going to go. He's dropping defensive tackles in, in, in the coverage, okay? He's dropping these guys in the coverage. Like, this this is just, this is insane, bro. Dropping defensive tackles into coverage. That's what you're going to do. Just completely, like, that's just, that's amazing for me. You're not just sitting back and you're just waiting for things to happen. You're actually doing something, waiting for these guys. That's what you don't want. You don't want to sit up here and wait for these guys to get. So, with that being said, man, let me know what you guys think about this breakdown, man. This has been your boy, Matt Mike, from Matt Mike Sports, um, Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you love what we do, um, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Continue to support your boy here at Matt Mike Sports, man. Leave your comments below if you have a player that you want me to break down or something specific that you want me to break down just go ahead and hit leave it in the comment section man i would love to break down something you something for you uh guys and like i said man your boy man mike is out man peace